Hey guys, what's going on? It's Rekt Capital and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Bitcoin's lower time frame price action, what has happened since yesterday through the lens of this market structure, how you could potentially draw this market structure a little bit differently to talk about this fear and greed index through the lens of those structures and what needs to happen for extreme fear to set into the market because we're only just fearful and only just meaning that fear doesn't actually precede financial opportunities and price reversals, it's extreme fear. So what do we need to see from Bitcoin's practice action for us to see extreme fear? We'll be talking about that. And these are some of the scenarios, this being one of them, but we'll talk about that in a lot more detail as well as how these scenarios play into the monthly retest and monthly view, talking about Dogecoin's price action as well and Ethereum's price action. And at the very end of the episode, we're also going to be looking at our partner in a bit more detail, Energy, what they've been up to over the past few weeks, what features they've got going on right now, there will be an entire segment dedicated to looking at energy, so stay tuned for that segment. Without further ado, let's dive right into the update. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future, and let's dive right in. So yesterday, we spoke about this flagging structure, and I didn't call this move by any means because I just mentioned that there's a flagging structure and there's no need to guess the direction of that level, or at least that move rather just focus on these two trend lines and whichever breaks first, that's going to bring us closer to the directional bias that we should adopt. And at the moment, you can see that we got that confirmation daily close below the trend line. And now Bitcoin is trying to flip this trend line into a resistance. And if it does, that trend line is going to turn into a resistance and it's going to weigh down on this support right over here, which is what we've been tapping into over the past few days for Bitcoin. This support is the one that's propping price up. And if we lose it, we could see some significant drawdown from this point. And if we draw this pattern in a different way, because there are a few ways we could look at price action for Bitcoin at this point in time, whether that's a falling wedge structure, whether that's this pennant right now, both lead to the same conclusion that we are at this support region. This trend line is confluent with this support region right over here and losing this area would lead to further downside. So it's not a case of me just changing the trend lines as price develops. This is important to understand that the conclusion is still the same. It doesn't matter how you draw the TA here. It's all about this support right over here. And the trend lines are only supposed to facilitate you in just helping you understand which directional bias to adopt. And it's all about this support. If it loses support, if Bitcoin loses support over here, we're going to see some drawdown to the lower 50s. And the thing that we need to consider is that sentiment is changing from neutral to fear in just one day, but we're not quite at extreme fear yet. Fear isn't enough to make a price reversal occur. It is usually extreme fear that precedes financial opportunity and we're not quite there yet. So one scenario to watch out for is we could break down from here and that's something that's going to really scare and panic people in the market and this sort of breakdown would indeed bring the index down to lower price levels or at least index levels. It would certainly bring extreme fear into the market that sort of breakdown. But the other scenario to watch out for is something that I've been talking about last week. And that's the fact that this fit and greed index oscillates just like price oscillates. So yesterday we saw neutral. A few days prior to that, we saw fear. A week or two ago, we saw greed. And now we saw neutrality yesterday and fear again. So we're probably going to see seesawing in this fear and greed index, but generally we're going to see the fear and greed index get to extreme and extreme fear levels. We're going to just see the seesawing until we see extreme fear levels. And it's all about trying to understand how we could get to those fear levels, whether we need to bounce from here and revisit the top so that the fear and greed index can get back to neutral or maybe even a bit of greed before rejecting towards the support region so that we get back from greed to neutral and then back to fear. But this fear level would probably be somewhere around here and then finally break down from this structure 
just to get us to extreme fear. That's one of the scenarios. So whether we break down from here, that would probably get us to extreme fear quicker, but we'll probably, this is also something to consider that we, we might not get extreme fear quite as quickly as we'd like. Whatever the scenario, if this is a breakdown from this structure, we will see extreme fear, and that's going to bring us closer to a Bitcoin bottom and a Bitcoin price reversal. And the thing about what's going on right now is that we're probably going to see that Bitcoin bottom happen before the month closes, because the way this is setting itself up is for a fantastic retest. And this is downside volatility, which could easily just change on a dime. So once we get to extreme fear and bottom out, we could easily climb an additional $2,000. It's not a lot really for Bitcoin to rebound by that amount just to manage a monthly candle close above the green level. So this correction could be close to getting over given how closer and closer we're getting to extreme fear levels. And now that we've covered Bitcoin, let's speak a bit about some altcoins, specifically Dogecoin, which has recently rebounded here. It's recently rebounded from the bottom trend line. And the past few times that we've rebounded from the bottom trend line, we've seen Dogecoin rally to the top trend line right over here, because ultimately we are in a macro wedging structure for Dogecoin and we're seeing price compression occur here and price compression proceeds further upside, or at least, at the very least, price compression proceeds some volatility. So this does look like it is reaccumulation after a tremendous retrace from old all-time highs, and this reaccumulation will continue as long as Dogecoin continues to hold this trend line as a support to facilitate further price coiling into the apex of the structure, price compression, before that volatility occurs, whether that's a breakout to new levels or whether we actually just lose this level. Really important to hold here for this wedging structure to continue to stay in play. And Ethereum here is still forming higher lows relative to this previous resistance area. Resistance rejecting price, resistance rejecting price a little bit less, and now support promoting price to higher levels and then rejecting from old all time highs to a higher low scenario, which we're still seeing hold. And this higher low is going to facilitate a move to these levels. And if Ethereum can't hold these levels as a support, then we're going to reject and get back to those higher levels, or at least higher low and this higher low confluence support region with the green ones. So really important to watch out for a potential relief rally. If this is a rejection, we will revisit this region and that's going to pose some additional sell side pressure on Ethereum much like a rebound from here and then a revisit back here for Bitcoin would pose significant pressure on this support region. In any case, guys, that's about it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let's now dive in to the energy segment where we're going to be talking about our partner in a bit more detail and what they're up to nowadays. Let's now dive into the segment about energy. Hey guys, welcome to this part of the segment where we're going to be taking a look at energy and all the interesting things that they have coming out here. You can see here on Energy Swap, the decentralized exchange for energy. All time highs for liquidity, 17.8 million dollars worth in liquidity. New all time highs breaking those April highs here. So you're seeing more and more liquidity on the platform, but also daily volume is consistently holding the old all time highs and new all time highs. And this is a testament to the growing interest here in energy swap. We're seeing a lot of interest in liquidity here on the platform, reaching new all time highs, which is a testament to all the interesting features features and releases that energy is enjoying right now. And one of the things to get excited about is that energy is going to be releasing a NFT marketplace. And this is going to be a huge driver for growth because today users are paying $100 plus just to purchase a single NFT with a Ethereum compatible chain. The energy NFT marketplace will be a very similar experience, but for with extremely low fees, you'll be able to buy and sell NFTs on the energy NFT marketplace, which will have a great user experience, but perhaps most importantly, there are going to be critical user protections that are lacking on existing NFT platforms. 
and the energy NFT marketplace is going to have a clean user experience, an intuitive user experience, much like we're seeing here on Energy Swap, where you can trade 180 assets on the decentralized exchange. Very simple to do that. Just click for a asset here and connect your MetaMask just to trade from whether that's energy to a different token. You have a wide variety of tokens here on energy swap that you can trade between in and out of but what i want to talk about as well is the new affiliate program you can get a 10 percent discount on trading fees by submitting a referral link and you can get these liquidity provider fees forever and it's really interesting because there is a multi-tier reward system where if you directly refer someone, you're going to get 10% of the liquidity provider fees on the decentralized exchange. And if that person, if your friend refers someone else, you're going to get 5% on those second level referrals. And if your friend of a friend refers, then 3% on those third level referrals. So you can accumulate quite a bit of trading fees that way, where everybody has an incentive to be referring people. So even if you just refer 100 people and those 100 people refer someone else, you're going to be accumulating referral fees from that and it's going to be taking place forever. So this is a very powerful multi-tier affiliate program where you can be making referrals on referrals on referrals for a very long time, in fact, forever. And to take part in the referral program, you need to acquire a small amount of energy, less than one NRG token to sign up for the referral program. And this is because the decentralized design of the referral program requires a transaction to lock in a referral. So you can get your energy from a KuCoin or the energy Ethereum pool on Uniswap and then deposit that into your MetaMask account. And you also have the new yield farming feed where there are incentives for liquidity providers to be just providing that liquidity on energy swap and by providing liquidity on energy swap in certain pools you can earn up to 50% APY and aside from these new features you also have the energy bridge which is out you can transfer assets from your former blockchain to energy in just one click by just connecting to MetaMask you can easily port over assets from the Ethereum blockchain to the energy blockchain with a very simple connect to MetaMask one click experience it's that simple and the last thing that I'd like to cover in today's video about our partner energy is energy defense and the 24 7 customer support that energy offers to its users and energy defense is there it's designed to protect the community energy users from hackers and scammers. And one of the ways that energy does this is by assisting in the event that an incident occurs, they provide technical and forensic support to just deduce what happened and identify the perpetrator. And this is state-of-the-art blockchain security. And the way that this works is that if someone reports a crime on the blockchain within three and a half days, they can freeze it, investigate, and then go through a recovery process. It goes through different addresses, but that's how they eliminate crime on the blockchain. And to date, Energy has stopped over $1 million in theft on the blockchain, which is a tremendous milestone but energy recently is all about tremendous milestones from the affiliate program, the multi-tier affiliate program, the yield farming feature, energy swap and energy bridge as a whole, the NFT marketplace, which is coming soon, energy defense, so many features, record liquidity and daily, as well as weekly volume on energy swap. So if you'd like to learn more about energy, check out their website in the link in the description down below and feel free to visit energy swap and take a look at the platform. In any case, that's about it for today's video and review of our partner here on the channel, Energy. I hope you enjoyed this one. Feel free to leave a like and of course, subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I'm Recht Capital and I'll speak to you in the next one. Speak to you soon.